What is up everybody, Edgar here, uh, second time I've had to make this video, but today I'm going to be going over the problem with leaks in Honkai Star Rail. Now I'm not going to edit this video, I say that every time I don't edit a video, I don't, I don't think it makes a difference, but anyways, I'm just going to get right to the point here. Now the problem with the leaks is that, in my opinion, I don't know, obviously not everyone's going to agree with me on this, but in my opinion, leaks kill the hype. Are not kill hype, it definitely not as hype seeing like leaks if that makes sense. So between <laughs> some random 17 year old kid from the other side of the planet leaking the the hot dummy mommy fight that we got this patch and Hoyaverse officially revealing it in the trailer, I think the latter definitely builds up more hype. Now you know, I'm definitely not the only one who feels this way about leaks, as if you take a second to really think about it, Hoyaverse, and I, you know, I've talked about this in my Rise of Funk and Star World video, but Hoyaverse does a top tier job at marketing. They know how to build hype. They they built hype for 1.1, even though it was a trash update. <laughs> oh no, that's saved for another video. But anyways, they know how to build hype. And if they want to sustain the amount of hype that they, you know, want to sustain, then, you know, these leaks are definitely not helping them, if that makes sense. Like, you know, it's kind of hard to be hyped about, like, uh, leaked content that's coming all the way in, like, version 1.7. I don't know. I don't look at leaks. But, uh, not too long ago, I made a video way back when Fu Shuen was first revealed and, or confirmed for 1.3, sorry. And... You know, I didn't say this in in that video at the time, but you know, I had already knew that she was coming in 1.3. Now, that wasn't because I looked at leaks or, or yeah, it was because of a leak, but like it wasn't on purpose or anything. I was on Twitter and I literally just stumbled upon a leak saying Fusion's coming in 1.3. Which another thing that I want to address in this video is if you're a YouTuber and you post content on Honkai Star Wars leaks and you make the leaks like. Like, you put, like, the leaks themselves on, like, the thumbnails and the titles, just, you know, spoiling the leaks, you know, like, spoiling the concept for anyone that sees them on their homepage. I will say this now, you're a scumbag, okay? And that's not, that's not gonna change anything. People are gonna keep doing it, but that is, in my opinion, a really, really scummy thing to do. And obviously, people are doing it just for the views, and I wasn't even gonna talk about it in this video, but, you know, I strongly dislike it when people do that since I don't like looking at leaks and you know that's partially why I don't actually watch Honkai Star World content um the only streamer I guess that I really watch is Mtash but he doesn't really main Honkai Star World so there's no Star World consecrators that I really watch and that's one of the reasons another reason is just cause uh oversaturation when it comes to content but that's not what this video is about um you know i really wish leaks weren't so prominent in the community as you know like i said earlier it really does kill the hype in my opinion like i don't think i don't think knowing what's coming from now all the way to like next year is really necessary if that makes sense that's just my opinion but me personally, I think it kills the hype within the community and also kills hype for me personally. But that that's just that's just my opinions. I don't know if anyone else would really agree with me. Um, if you do think that leaks kill hype, you know, definitely let me look. Wow, let me know in the comments. Uh, yes to leaks or no to leaks. I don't know. I really want to hear what my own subscribers have to say about it like you know you <laughs> you the viewer i want to know what you think about leaks but anyways that's it for this video uh definitely for a pretty interesting topic i didn't think i was really gonna cover anything like this on my channel and by the way um this this should be obvious but i'm not i'm never gonna con wow i'm never gonna cover leaks on this channel and i'm never gonna look at leaks uh even during like the dry periods for this game I, I'm not gonna cover leaks. I'm not gonna even cover any spoilers, anything like that. Just super scummy in my opinion. But yeah, that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. But that's it for me. And goodbye.